think your shit is sweet. Nigga creep up on your ass. <laughs> Live niggas respect it. Check it. I kick flows for ya, kick down doors for ya. Even left all my motherfucking hoes for ya. Niggas think Frankie pussy whip. Nigga picture that with the Kodak. It's the Mac Tack. We don't get down like that. Lay my game down quite flat. Sweetness, where you park that? Petiteness, but that ass fat. She got a body, make a nigga wanna eat that. I'm fucking with you. The bitch official though, bit harder than the missile, yo. Try to hit it if she trippin', disappearin' like a finio. Yo, the bitch push a double O with the five in front. Probably a cannabis stunt. Y'all drive me front. I'm a peel with her. Find a deal with her. She fuck around and steal, huh? Then we all get laced, televisions, Versace heaven When I'm up in them, the shit she kick All the shit's legit, she get dick From a player off the New York Knicks Nigga trick with dick, get lust, the shit was plush She stressed for me to fuck, like she was in the rush We fucked in his bed, quite dangerous I'm in his ass while he play against the Utah Jazz My 112 CD blast, I was passed She came twice, I came last, roll the grass She giggled, saying I'm smoking on homegrown Then I heard a moan, honey I'm home, yup No chrome for situations like this I'm up in this broad, I know he won't like this Now I'm like, bitch, you better talk to him Before the fifth put a spark to him Fuck around, shit, get dark to him Put a part through him Lose a major part to him Arm, um, leg, she begging me to stop But the cat getting closer Getting hot like a toaster A cop's toast, uh Before my eyes could blink She screams out, honey, bring me up something to drink He go back downstairs, more time to think My brain racing Telling me to stay patient She don't know I'm cool as a fan Got in hand I don't wanna blast her man But I can and I will though I'm trying to chill though Even though situation looking kinda ill yo It came to me like a song I wrote Told the bitch give me a scarf Pillow case and rope Got dressed quick Tied a scarf around my face Broke the bitch up Gagged the mouth with the pillowcase Played the cut Nigga coming on some love potion shit Flash the heat on him. He stood emotionless. Dropped the glass, screaming, "Don't blast!" Here's the stash, a hundred cash. Just don't shoot my ass, please. Nigga pulling mad G's out the floor, put stacks in the Prada knapsack. Hit the door, grab the keys to the five. Call my niggas on the cell, bring some weed. I got a story to tell. Uh, Yo, man, uh, y'all niggas ain't gonna believe what the fuck happened to me. Who that bitch I left the club with, man? Yeah. Yo, stinky yo. I'm up in this bitch crib. This bitch fucked with one of my own nick ass niggas and shit. I'm up in the spot, so oh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Which one? I'm one of them six five niggas. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm up in the motherfucking spot, so boom, I'm up in the pussy. Whatever, whatever. I spark some supply. I do creep sin up on some. Get the fuck out. Oh. It must have been rained out or something. It comes up in the spot. Get the fuck out. Oh, oh shit. Get the I'm
we're talking crazy right now Like why the fuck are you waiting? Shorty, all I'm saying is if you can't explain it, you really gotta stop caring Lame niggas all the same if it makes plans, it won't even show up when you're ready You could do way better, girl I can make you feel So good he's overrated, you're unappreciated Real bitch, but she fucking with a fake one, yeah Skipping 99 plus one, uh Shorty, he doesn't know you were Switch your last time out of your fucking mind. Can't you see I'm fucking trying? You want pussy six times a week, and you never wanna clean up. And you talk to me like shit, and you handle me too rough. And at the end of the day, you got the nerve to bring up that bitch. But that's the difference. And what I feel like is I can't take on shit. Gonna stretch you out, 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 out. You just wanna have fun. Uh, uh, uh. You wanna make you come, 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 come. Girl, I heard that you been hurting. Just let me know if it ain't working. I could put mad big daddies on you on purpose. We can go half on a baby on purpose. And then make bag is close all of that curtains purposely. Everything you do to me, you do it perfectly And I be in your body like surgery Like I got insomnia, I gotta pop a perfume to sleep, yeah Put that ass round in a circle, please, yeah Put that ass round in a circle for me, yeah Like you working for me, don't you show no other nigga What you learning from me, yeah Ain't no shit you out, 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 gon' stretch you out, 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 You just wanna have fun Yeah. 
I think we just were just connecting as like black artists and talking about life. And, and if I believe in me, that's a problem for you. If I'm not who they want, I know that I didn't let myself down. And I was like, that's her right there. <laughs> Whoa there, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Entertainment Weekly Around the Table. Today we're talking about Queen and Slim. I'm Lena Way, the screenwriter and one of the producers of the film. I'm Melina Matsukis, a director and a producer on the film. Daniel Kaluuya plays Slim. And I'm Jodie Turner-Smith, I play Queen. And we are Queen and Slim. <laughs> yeah. A family. A family. A black family. What made you pick me? I liked your picture. You had this sad look on your face. I felt sorry for you. Damn. Here's the, I think, one of the special things about the movie is that I think it was sort of born out of the black renaissance in which we're living in right now. And that... I got word that you wanted to have dinner with me um, through my agency. <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I want to have dinner with Daniel. Um, and we had dinner. And it was just, I think we just were just connecting as like black artists and talking about life. And it just very naturally came up that I was that I had written this movie. And it was a first draft. I hadn't definitely hadn't gotten it to Melina yet because it wasn't. I wasn't. I wanted to make sure it was as good as it could be before I got it to Melina. <clears throat> But you, you said, hey, can I read it? And it was very organic about you wanting to read it. And I said, too, I said, well, it's early. Yeah, but yeah, you can read it. And you went and you read it, and then you emailed me, and you said you needed to be slim. Mm -hmm. And I think that was really the beginning, I think, of this journey. That's the start of the genesis. I, I read the pilot of the show. Oh, yeah. So the pilot you mm -hmm. shot. And I was like, who is? And I kept on speaking about you in England. And then when I saw you... At the Tastemaker screen, yeah, taste get maker out. Screen, I yeah. just said, I just think you're amazing. I went, I made a beeline. And I was like, <laughs> oh, then Thomas said, oh, Lena Wayne's I was like, what, you, you just told me now? Like, <laughs> 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 I like, and then I, I, I spoke to you for the rest of the night. I didn't speak yeah. to anybody else. So when we sat down, you said you had a script as a fan. And I was like, oh, man, this is it. Mm. This is it. And it's funny because I've been saying it recently. I was like, people ask me, goes, oh, Daniel, what do you, is there any changes? I'm like, the first draft isn't really dissimilar to yeah. the film. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that's how rare a script yeah. and rare a writer Lena is. It was there. It was mm -hmm. there. Not, like, mm -hmm. It was kind of like there was shades and nuances, right? nuances and complexities that right. were added, but in terms of the, the art, the structure, the yeah. structure. if you look at it narratively, mm -hmm. it was there. Absolutely. And so that's why I was like, it's there. This is, this is, and you rarely see that in scripts point blank. Why'd you Le connect to Slim so much? Mm. I connected to Slim because I've been in a situation where if you respect yourself, that's a problem. Right. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially with the police where you're at, it's out of control. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's when oppression mm -hmm. is, as, is so visceral. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you're literally, I have one context, I have one mentality, you have another context, oh. you have your mentality. Mm -hmm. And if I believe in me, that's a problem for you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? To and, respect and yourself is disrespectful. That is like, you do this to me all the time. Like, <laughs> I got to put that in the script somewhere. Like, just the idea of us respecting ourselves yeah. is disrespectful to yeah. white people. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I love that he was just like, he's not the candidate. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. not the kind of guy that would go into that situation. Right, right. And that happened. So it's that like kind of thing going... But he becomes that. Yeah, yeah, he becomes that because... He has to mm -hmm. in order to survive. Do you know what I'm saying? It's either he and dies, what he learns from Queen. Exactly. You know, by the end. And then the love story. Mm -hmm. It was just that kind of it was so delicately written mm -hmm. and handled that I was just like, you just rarely it's so hard to make things simple. Mm. It's so difficult. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of people don't appreciate simplicity. Mm -hmm. And I saw that I was like, these these 